Mensa is a high IQ society for people that have above 130 IQ. However, in this video, I'm going to attempt to make an algorithm that anyone can use to gain membership into Mensa. But before I start the video, I have to say that Mensa is different from country to country. So the physical IQ test that you have to take might be different depending on where you live. Mensa uses Raven matrices, which is a form of IQ test where each puzzle is a three by three matrix containing eight images and one question mark. Under the matrix, you find the answer options. The correct answer should be able to replace the question mark and also conserve the overall pattern in the matrix. In the case of this specific puzzle, the correct answer is F. This is because answer F conserves the pattern that all images in each row are identical. So what type of algorithm could you make to solve these types of puzzles? The thing about Mensa is that they love to use repetition in their puzzles. I would estimate that at least 80% of their puzzles can be solved by looking for repetition. Because there are so many puzzles that can be solved by repetition, I will base the algorithm on repetition. The first question you might ask is, what type of repetition does Mensa use? After looking through all of the Mensa online tests, I found that they use a total of six types of repetition. First, we have repetition of a shape. By rotating the shape, we get the second type of repetition, repetition of a rotated shape. If we instead move the shape, we get the third type of repetition, repetition of a moved shape. The last type of shape repetition is quite complex. Imagine that we have repetition of a shape, but we remove one of the shapes and then we divide the parts left among the three images. This is what I normally call addition with cancellation, because if we add together the two first images and then remove any overlapping area, then we get the third image. The fifth type of repetition is repetition of color. For example, in the first row, we might have red, red, red. The sixth and last type of repetition is repetition of a characteristic. For example, in the first row, we might have shapes with three corners. So we don't repeat a specific shape, but we repeat the amount of corners. Another great question that you might have is where can we expect repetition? The first repetition pattern I already went through in the first puzzle repetition in the rows. So in each row, we have some specific type of repetition. The second repetition pattern is similar to the first, but instead we have repetition in the columns. So in each column, we have a specific type of repetition. The two last repetition patterns are harder to find and use. For example, here we have the third repetition pattern. It might not be obvious that we have repetition, but if I extend the matrix to the right, and to the left, it should become clear. We have a repetition in the diagonals from top left to bottom right. The fourth and last repetition pattern is also a diagonal repetition pattern. If I extend the matrix to the right and to the left, you should see that there is this repetition in the diagonals from top right to bottom left. I want the algorithm to combine the information about the type of repetition and the different repetition patterns. Before I make the algorithm, let me clarify what I want out of the algorithm. So imagine that your little brother is going to take a Mensa IQ test in hope of joining Mensa, and he's allowed to bring with him one piece of A4 paper. What would you write on this paper to give him the best chance possible at joining Mensa? This is what I want the algorithm to do. I want it to be simple, and also small enough to fit on an A4 paper. I just finished the design of the algorithm and it looks like this. It's too small to see the entire thing at once, so I'll zoom in. At the top, we have the headline, Raven's matrix algorithm, followed by the six types of repetition, repetition of color, repetition of characteristic, repetition of shape, repetition of rotated shape, repetition of moved shape, and repetition of split shape. And then under the types of repetition, we have the algorithm. We start in the top left with the question, is there any repetition in the first row? If there is repetition, then we check the second row 
and check if we have the same type of repetition in the second row as in the first row. If there is the same type of repetition, then we check the two first images of the third row and we check if they have the same type of repetition as in the first row and in the second row. If we have the same type of repetition in all three rows, then we can eliminate any answer that doesn't have the same type of repetition as in the third row. After we finish looking at the rows, we go down to looking at the columns. The columns are pretty much exactly the same as the rows, so I won't spend time going through it. Under the columns, we have the diagonals from top right to bottom left. Again, we have the exact same concept as the rows, so I won't spend time going through it. And finally, we have the top left to bottom right diagonals. When we're done with this last row of the algorithm, we terminate the method. At the end of the algorithm, you will either have one answer left, which will be the correct answer, or you will have all the answers left, meaning that the puzzle is not a repetition puzzle. To summarize the algorithm, it eliminates any answer that does not follow the repetition patterns of the matrix. To further understand the algorithm, let's go through a practical example with the algorithm. So first we have the question, is there any repetition in the first row? No, there is no repetition in the first row. So we move it down in the algorithm and look at the columns. Is there any repetition in the first column? No, there is not. So we move down in the algorithm and look at the top right to bottom left diagonals. Is there any repetition in image 168? Yes, we can see a repetition of squares. So the type of repetition is repetition of shape. So do we have repetition of shapes in image 357? Yes, we have repetition of a plus sign. And finally, do we have repetition of shapes in image 24? Yes, we have repetition of four dots. So we can move to the right in the algorithm and eliminate any answer that doesn't have four dots, leaving only answer A, C and F left. Now we move down in the algorithm and check the top left to bottom right diagonals. Is there any repetition in image 348? Yes, we have repetition of green. So the type of repetition is repetition of color. Do we also have repetition of color in image 267? Yes, we have repetition of blue. Now, do we also have repetition of color in image 1 and 5? Yes, we have repetition of red. So we can move right in the algorithm and eliminate any answer that's not red. Now we move down to the last square of the algorithm where we terminate the method. We only have one answer left, so we know that answer C is correct. That was everything. Bye bye.